Shi here from OG Creations. When I started OGC in 2020, I was focused on customer orders. One of these orders, a client DM'd me and asked if I would tie-dye a hoodie that they owned. I tried to confirm that it was 100% cotton, and even though they agreed, what arrived was a polyester jacket, and I had no clue how to deal with it. I jumped over to YouTube to try to find any tutorials on how to tie-dye polyester. There wasn't any. So I decided I would order the exact same jacket so I could play with it, test it out, before I destroyed this person's garment. Well, that was a massive fail. I could not get the black removed, even though I bleached it four different times. And it was a light gray, and I just knew that if I put any color on top of it, it just wasn't gonna pop like my other hoodies. Needless to say, I sent the garment back with apologies. Even though the jacket was replaceable, I didn't want to destroy their garment. I vowed right then and there that I would create a way to tie-dye polyester using multiple colors that would actually work. After a lot of testing the last year and a half, I finally created a method that has worked every single time I've used it, so I thought I would share it with you. I'm starting with a loose fit crew neck summer top that I purchased from Amazon. The material is made of 60% polyester, 35% rayon, and 5% spandex. The geo technique takes more than a bit of time, so I've sped up my tying process. To create a fun geode pattern, I gather small sections of the material and rubber band it. Move down an inch or so and rubber band again. I repeat this over and over and over again until I feel the garment is completed. In a stock pot of simmering water, I stir an iDye Poly Color Intensifier and bring it back to a simmer. This stock pot is solely dedicated to dyeing. Do not use one that you cook with. You don't want your matzo balls tasting the chemicals. I add in the garment and let it simmer for about 40 minutes. I make sure to stir it every 5 to 10 minutes to make sure the chemical is getting evenly distributed. I then remove the garment and place it in a disposable baking pan. Now the fun part. Applying the color. The first time I saw myself doing this on camera, I instantly thought of my 80s childhood and those freaking delicious shake and bake dinners. It was the best dinner night. Shake and bake and a box of chicken rice aroni. Still makes me hungry. Working rather quickly, I randomly apply I Dye Poly dye powders in the colors of violet, lilac, and pink. You can purchase these dyes from Dharma Trading in one half ounce and one pound weights. I'm using the one half ounce packet here. A word of warning, the one half ounce packets are fully soluble, so make sure to have extremely dry hands and a super dry workspace or you're gonna have a huge mess to clean up and you'll waste a lot of usable dye. over and repeat the same process. While I'm shaking away, you should visit my Etsy store for a ton of other creative items. I have tees, hoodies, tights, dresses, men's briefs and jock straps. but if you're looking for something a little bit more custom, DM me and we can create a piece together. So check out ogcreationsstore.etsy.com. Tightly wrap the disposable baking pan in aluminum foil, leaving one side folded back. Using a plant mister filled with almost boiling water, steam the top of the dry dye powders in the garment and then quickly secure the tin foil tightly on top of the pan to make sure the steam stays within. Fahrenheit preheated oven for two hours. Every 30 minutes, carefully remove the pan, lift a corner of the foil, add a pump or two of steam, and secure the foil back down and return to the oven. Once your 
sure it is baked, carefully remove the foil and start your rinsing process. Start with hot water and slowly adjust to cold water and continue rinsing until the water runs clear. Then remove the rubber band. Wash a garment using a mild detergent and then dry completely. I love the final result, but I'm even more excited that I was able to create a tie-dye technique that allows you to customize your polyester garments with whatever colors or patterns that your artistic hearts can imagine. Just promise me that you will go out and have fun with it. I post new content every Friday, so make sure to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you would like to see created next.